became a little more commercialized in the 1950s with Trick or Treat, and today it rivals only Christmas in terms of popularity. All I asked was what he was doing this weekend. You know, I'm toying with the notion of either going to the Edgar Allan Poe Shadow Puppet Theater or the reenactment of the 19th century Phantasmagoria. I don't want to know. Oh, yeah, you do. Phantasmagorias are these amazing pre-cinema projected ghost shows invented in France where the showman attempted to spook the audience using science magic. And it just so happens that I have an extra ticket. Tempting. Guys, I wouldn't have to worry about losing my feminine curves if you all paid more attention to all the trees we're consuming around here. When did you become an eco-freak? Baby, I was born green. We're going to Detroit. What a Halloween weekend. Arson investigators have noticed a three-year trend in the days leading up to Halloween. Devil's night. This unsub is killing only these three days out of the year. How's he doing it? He's burning his victims alive. He's abducting seemingly random people and dumping their bodies in abandoned parts of town. He struck again last night. Yeah, Tony Terrell, 40. He lives in the suburbs, but he was found 20 miles away in the Rivertown district. He's attacking the city at its most vulnerable time. What does he do during the rest of the year? He's dormant. You know, arsonists are typically white males between 17 and 25 who can't stay away from fire. Yeah, they're addicted to it and there's no rehab. And they target dwellings, not people. So you're saying he burns his victims alive, but he's not an arsonist? Fire is simply his weapon. And Devil's Night gives him the perfect cover to kill. And we've got 48 hours before he disappears again.